Hey there! I'm Sarah A. Christman, the author of The Tales of Chetsamoka, and today I'm going to be making Valentine sandwiches. These are the heart-shaped sandwiches that show up in the dance scene in my latest book, Sparks Press. These are the, one that, the ones that Sophie just goes into raptures over. They're quick and easy, and since Valentine's Day is coming up, I figured they were pretty appropriate. Like all of The Tales of Chetsamoka, the recipe is in the back of the book. The original 19th century recipe for Valentine sandwiches goes Chop together one cup of chicken meat, six button mushrooms, add salt and pepper and one half pint of mayonnaise dressing. Spread on thin slices of buttered bread, cut into hearts and garnished with parsley. So you want to cook the chicken first, of course. And this is chicken that I've roasted. This happens to be thigh meat, but if you prefer breast meat, you can use that. Any, any chicken meat is good. Now, once I've got all the meat off, I'm going to have some bones left over. And the thing about bones that have been roasted is you can boil them, and I'm going to, to make broth out of. Just be aware that the broth from bones that have already been roasted is going to be a very weak broth because most of the goodness and nutrition has already gone gone into the meat when you've roasted them. So the bone broth that that is going to produce is not nearly as rich or nutritious as the broth if you start from plain bones that have had the meat cut off them in a raw state. But it is better than water for recipes that, savory recipes that ask you to add add water to them, and that's generally what I use them for. If I'm making actual soup where the richness matters, then I'll start from raw bones on the meat. You can use raw mushrooms or you can cook them first. I happen to have some marinated mushrooms in my pantry, so I'm using those. They'll give a nice flavor to the sandwiches. Just be aware that however you prepare the mushrooms, or don't if you use them raw, that'll affect the flavor of the sandwiches, of course. So it's all a question of what you want. Your butter will be a lot easier to spread if you soften it first by putting it near a heat source for a few minutes. So, after you've softened the butter, you want to butter the bread for the sandwiches. And there's a real advantage to either making your own bread, that's always the topic, <laughs> the top choice, of course. If you don't make your own, there's a real advantage to buying it by the loaf so that it's not pre-sliced. Because if you have a full loaf of bread, you can butter it one slice at a time. And you see how easy it is for me to butter this bread? It's not scraping the bread to pieces like it would be if I was trying to butter a slice of bread. So there I've buttered my bread. It's nice and very easily and very neat, very neatly buttered. Now all I have to do is slice it off the loaf. There I've got my nice, nice and thin, perfectly buttered slice of bread. I, I could not have done that if this was pre-sliced. If this was pre-sliced, this would be a pile of crumbs in my hand. I am not that competent, it's just knowing how to do it. <laughs> now I'm going to be cutting the edges off anyways, so I'm focusing the filling on where the actual sandwich is going to be. This is really a party food or a special occasion food because we're cutting off so much of it. And so this pretty center is what you use for your special occasion, and then the edges you eat on your own time. 
This is good homemade bread, so I'm not picky about eating the crusts along with the whites when I eat up the edges. The reason for traditionally discarding the crusts of bought bread was that before it became fashionable to wrap bread in artificial packaging, the crust was the wrapper that kept the inside of the loaf clean when you carried it home. This was actually really efficient, because unlike a plastic bag or a paper one which may or may not be recyclable, the soiled crust could be fed to chickens or other domestic animals. So there I've got my Valentine sandwiches, just like at the dance in Sparks Press. Sophie went gaga over these, <laughs> and I'm sure your guests will too. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a nice thumbs up, and remember to tell your friends about my books. Happy reading!